faces have arrived at Coach Dick Advocates uh, seeking some help as he tries to salvage a disappointment season, disappointing season. Glad back travel to Dortmund to face their struggling Borussia brethren. And also, we've got some highlights from Schalke away to Kaiserslautern. Here's Jeff Nielsen with a double dose from the Bundesliga. The battle of the Borussias ain't what she used to be. Both Dortmund and Munchen Gladbach are battling the dreaded draw. But 2005 brings new promise with both teams picking up wins last week and the 80,000 strong at Westfalen Stadion were hoping Dortmund could make it two in a row. The Sea of Yellow had reason for optimism in the 29th. Keep your eye on Jan Collers. He's getting the pat down from Marcelo Pletch. But Collers shakes him long enough to head the opening goal past Casey Keller. 1-0 Dortmund as Westfalen Stadion erupts. Day Day delivers a dangerous free kick into the box and somehow the six foot seven giant slips through his mark and he lowers the boom. That's the eighth goal of the season for the Czech striker. He leads his team in goals and with agility like that for a big man, it's easy to see how. Despite having six new faces in the lineup, it was one of Advocat's regulars who put Gladback on the board. An ill-advised back heel from Day Day lands right at the feet of Per Kluga and Kluga nets his first goal of the season Gladbach are level in the 49th minute. Day Day with an awful giveaway. He really had a lot more time to clear the ball. Instead, Kluga finds a lane and snakes it through, just beating a diving Keller. A small deflection on the way probably helped him out, and this match has new life. And speaking of things new, Lars Ricken has a new bruise to show the folks as Burnt Tease almost boots his eye out with a reckless challenge. Tease was booked, but allowed to play on, and Ricken shook it off, and he would be all right. Fletch and Collar were again giving new meaning to the term feeling your opposition up, but that's another story for another time. The important play here was the free kick saved by Keller, keeping the score at 1-1. And again, Dortmund threatened to steal three points late, but Keller was able to spot the ball through the wall, and he makes the sound save. And time would soon expire with both teams satisfied taking a single point. The Battle of Borussia ends a 1-1 draw. Schalke faced a tricky away fixture at a resurgent Kaiserslautern. A win would take them three points clear of title rivals Bayern Munich. But a series of glaring misses, oddly enough, did little for their top-of-the-table quest. In the 19th minute, Ebi San inconceivably heads it so hard off the ground, it clears the bar. And then three minutes before halftime, San will set up Lincoln. But the ex-Slautern player sails another chance into the crowd. And Schalke would live to regret their wastefulness. 12 minutes into the second half, Slautern's Turkish midfielder Halil Altentop, he does well to hold off two Schalke defenders before releasing Ioannis Amantidis and terrific patience from the Greek striker as he calmly puts the home side in front 1-0. It got worse for Schalke 16 minutes from time when Kaiser sub Jokin Seitz gets knocked off his feet by, I guess, a sudden gust of wind. Milan Kristaj did grab his jersey, but the dive came seconds later. Stefan Blank scores a disputed penalty to hand Schalke their first loss in six matches away from home. Schalke can now lose valuable ground to Bayern, who play on Sunday. Thank you, Jeff. Check it.